Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me on Instagram, on both of my Instagrams actually, um, you will have seen that we have been working on this S54 teardown. Um, we are going to be rebuilding this S54. You'll just have to stay tuned for what that looks like in the future. Hopefully not too far in the future, but today I'm gonna to be working on the rotating assembly. I'm going to be removing, first I'm going to be removing the connecting rod caps and checking the wear and if there's any damage on the obviously the bearings um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be replacing all the rods all the pistons all the bearings um, so we're just going to be starting basically from scratch with this build so I'm just going to be showing you how to remove them so I'm going to start with uh, I already did cylinder one I'm going to be doing cylinder two or whichever cylinder this is um, I'm just going to get in the way so I can hold this Pull it towards me. It's probably easier this way. You just want to loosen them up first by hand, and then you can go in with the impact gun. Okay, so now that these are loosened, I'm going to put this back here. I'm going to take these off with the gun now. Ooh. Like I said, since we are going to replacing all these, I'm just going to throw these in the trash box. I'm just going to save one to the side so it's going to help me out. So you want to very gently knock the top and the bottom of the cap should break itself off. I'm just gonna hit it again. There we go. So this is oh the bearing is stuck on here. Um, cap number two. As you can see, these are fractured. They're not smooth surfaces here. This is about normal wear. Doesn't look like there's much scoring on this cap, but this bearing looks like it is off to the side, but I'm gonna put this over here. I'm going to. So it actually looks like cylinder two spun its bearing. Uh, as you can see here, there's room. I thought it was just offset, but now I understand that this is a spun bearing. This was the noise in the vehicle that we heard. So it looks like now we have to get the crankshaft shaved down. I'm just going to remove this or try to remove this. Again, being that we're going to shave the crankshaft most likely, I can use a screwdriver, but this is what the scoring and wear looks like inside and I'll show you the outside as well now. And this is the outside. Alright, so now I'm going to go back and do what I was going to do, which I'm going to just screw in a couple threads into the rod. I'm going to hit it very lightly. Hopefully it just doesn't <laughs> knock all the way out. Okay. I'm going to push as best as I can. Which I might need some help from this side. Alright, looks like it popped out. Come from this side now, and this is with the piston, piston rings, wrist pin, rod, and the other bearing. It's still in the engine, but that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue on cylinders three to six. Oh, let me grab the other side of the bearing. Like I said, it was stuck in here. This is the inside. 
with some scoring. And then the outside. And then also the crank. Alright, on to cylinder three. Just gonna repeat these steps, like I said, from cylinder three to six now. Uh I'll take this. Oh. Oh yeah, let me spin this a little bit. So I just spun it so that the top of the rod is over here instead of below so that I have more room. Now I'm just gonna break these again. If you haven't already seen on Instagram, I am very weak. So it does take a little more strength from me than your typical engine builder. And puny arms! Just a little joke I like to say. All right, that could go in there. Keep this one. There we go. Okay. Bearing and cap for cylinder three. See if I can push this one out. Just show it to you first again. This one looks like it has a bit of scoring in it. And then you just gotta play with it. I'm gonna show you. Oh, this one's like bent in the corner too. I don't know if you guys can see that. So lift it on this outer corner. There's that. For this build, I haven't mentioned this yet, for this build we are going to be going with um, our normal king bearings, both for uh, main and connecting rod, as well as the Carrillo rods and pistons. Um, they've been sitting on our shelf for a little while, so we are going to have them ready whenever this whole rotating assembly is completely done. Love tap it. Whoop, and that fell straight in, right where I wanted it to go, into the garbage. <sighs> as you can see, the rings are about to come out as well. Uh, oh, no! This was the one. I'm sorry. Rings are super loose in it. Again, piston, piston rings, wrist pin, and this bearing. Showing both wear and scorings, and then the outside as well. All right. Cylinder four. a lot looser compared to cylinder three. So another key thing about this is this is actually the first engine that I'm learning how to disassemble and going to be learning how to assemble properly. Um, 
If you know me, I've always said I wanted to learn how to do this. I just think it's very um, soothing, aesthetically soothing, I guess you would use as the word. I find a lot of like alone time learning how to build things with my hands uh, very soothing. Just me as a person who I am. A little weird, I guess you would say. But I've wanted to learn this for a long time. I just think it'll be something I truly enjoy. Hopefully I'm right about it, but I guess we shall see. So, cap four. You can definitely see that there's more scoring on here. Now let me try and push it out. Okay, back side of it. It's gonna run right in the trash, and then the cap. All right. Going to knock this one out again, so I'm just gonna put the rod bolt back in. Tap it lightly. Some of these are just easier to hit my hands than the other. Bingo. All right. All right, I think, honestly, I don't remember which one fell out. So it's fine, but I'm gonna leave this to the side so that when I do knock out five and six, I can find them. Like I said, if I were keeping all these rods and pistons, it'd be a bigger deal. But because we are not, and we're replacing all of them, just going straight in the trash. Uh, gonna spin this. That way I get the cap at the top. There we go. Okay. We have another rod that spun. Cylinder five, I'm gonna move out of the way so you guys can see better. Cylinder five also is spun. This is the cap. It's gonna go right in there. I'm gonna see if I can take out one of the bearings, if not. going to leave it until I knock it out. Yeah. I'm just going to try and knock it out because it looks like it's really good in there. Now let me try to pull this out. All right, so, whoa. Wait till you see this bad boy. This has a lot of scoring in it. It's really hard to show. You can see all that copper in there and the scoring. You, if you could feel it, you would feel. It's like a whole bunch of waves in there. Crazy. Well, 
That fell, but now we definitely have to get this shaved off. All right, let me knock this one in. Not gonna be able to get that. So, use my hand dandy too. To knock this bad boy in further. Bad boy went straight down. And yes, I'm making a mess. Okay, so this side looks pretty. Oh, nope, I gotta show you this. So, there's a huge chunk missing right there on the rod. All right, last but not least, cylinder six. Wanted to make sure I got that out of there. Um, I think we can pull this back because the top cap bolt is too far. So, okay. these two. Whew. Okay. Last but not least. Get her done. Oh, so weak. Start doing upper body workouts. Okay. And Cardboard sucks. Everything just bounces straight off of it. All right. Save that. Might actually have to come down a little. Oh, maybe not. Right there. All right. Last one. It looks like just normal wear. Maybe a little scoring in it. And the back side. Okay. Now let's pop this bad bleep out. If you don't know, I curse a lot. Try to be publicly correct as best as I can, but. Sometimes it's just hard. And Dunzo. Let's go look at it. All right, let me pick this up. Bearing fell out, but again, just a lot of scoring and wear. And all these are gonna go in the garbage now. Next, gonna do the main cap. Now I have my gun, I'm just gonna start taking these out. Alright. Okay. First two are done. <coughs> Throw them in there. Number 
number three is done. I'm just gonna put that bolt in there. Keep thinking these have a long thread pitch and they don't. And last but not least, two bolts. So now I'm going to knock on them lightly like I just did before. I'm try to wiggle it out. Oh, gotcha. All right, so that's first cap. Seems like there's still some scoring in here. I'm going to take the bearing out. These are the main bearings. What I showed you before was the connecting rod bearings. So we uh, will be saving this, but we will not be saving the bearings. All right, now, number two. So I can get this one out. Number two, glove just went in under my nail. Just gonna flip it out. Alright. Alright, so get this one out. These are a lot harder to get out than connecting rod caps. I'm gonna try to turn it a little bit with my handy dandy breaker bar. See if I have more wiggle room. Oh, I have it right on here. See if I have more wiggle room now. Got it. Okay. Number three. All right. I'm just gonna take the bearing out so that I can put the cap to the side. All right. Number. Okay, let's see if I can get this one out. Rotate it again. One thing I noticed while doing this is you have to have a lot of patience. You cannot rush it. So it seems like it just doesn't want to come out. Okay, I'm gonna leave 
leave that one for now and go to the next one because if I get frustrated, it doesn't do me any good. crappy part about this is I have no vantage point to try and pull these caps up so it's just trying to wiggle them back and forth and pull at the same time is not easy. Slowly coming out. There we go. Oh, all right, so this is one, two, three, four, five. Because I missed number four. All right, I'm going to take off the cap for this and take the bearing out. So that's the bearing. Garbage. Try hitting. This one down a little. Let's see if it'll come out now. Nope. A little more. This one looks like it just doesn't want to come out at all. Just go a little more. Nope. You don't want to come out. So I had some technical difficulties getting out number six. So this, as you can see, is a thrust bearing. I'm not going to pop it out because I'm not going to have the force to do so. And then what I also did off camera was I took one of the cap bolts and just put it back into each of these to knock them out, just so that I didn't waste time. So this is one, two, three, four. I'm just going to put this here. And then number seven. This is number seven. And now I'm going to try and take this out, which I don't think I'm going to be able to, but it's worth a try. Uh, try getting some down here. This is out. I'm just going to put this right here because I am very weak and it's hurting. So now the crankshaft is out. So I'm just going to place it on its side so you guys can take a look at it. It's a lot heavier than I expected. <laughs> 